The FJ Cruiser, the Forerunner, and the Magnificent Land Cruiser are just a few of Toyota's past examples of strong off-road SUVs. Despite the departure of the Land Cruiser from the American market in 2022 and the discontinuation of the FJ Cruiser in this country in 2014, Toyota is determined to maintain its position as a leader in the off-road segment as the automotive industry shifts to electric vehicles. To that end, the company will introduce a tough compact electric SUV in the near future. The compact Cruiser EV concept served as a preview of what the SUV might look like. It will have a boxy appearance, tough bumpers, and body cladding. The electric powertrain's exact specifications are unknown, however given the lightning-fast torque provided by electric motors, it should be reasonably speedy and capable of negotiating rough terrain. What's new for 2024? When it debuts, Toyota's compact Cruiser EV will be a brand new model, and its name is likely to be more original. For the 2024 model year, we anticipate the electric off-roader will be available. There isn't much information available yet on the compact Cruiser EV's mechanical elements, although it's expected that some suspension and powertrain components will be shared with other planned electric Toyotas. Toyota must, however, make the appropriate adjustments to the car's specifications, capabilities, and driving position. That is if they wish to succeed where other versions failed. However, the rumors claim that they have already carried out that action. If a brand new Land Cruiser does arrive in North America, it will try to reintroduce off-road competence and go anywhere capability to the American market. It might have a tough look that aims to capitalize on the legendary nameplate's tradition of toughness and versatility in a more luxurious form. When will the new Toyota Land Cruiser be available? The new Toyota Land Cruiser could debut in the latter half of 2023 or the beginning of 2024, while there is no set timetable for its release. To coincide with the global introduction of the next-generation Prado model, which is thought to serve as the foundation for the new US model, Toyota may be aiming for a 2024 release. Toyota has remained largely quiet and non-disclosive up until this point. Before we can be assured of a certain delivery date for the new Land Cruiser, Toyota will need to make an official announcement and offer more specific information. Based on the limited data known up until then, a launch in late 2023 or early 2024 is still a possibility. Will the next Toyota Land Cruiser be a luxury car? All signs suggest that Toyota will use a novel strategy for the design of the upcoming Toyota Land Cruiser. The new model is anticipated to have a more rough and functional look that harkens back to the famous 70 series Land Cruiser, in contrast to earlier iterations positioned as luxury off-roaders. Comfort and aesthetics are likely to lose out to the projected ergonomics and visibility. The reworked design philosophy as a whole suggests that Toyota has managed to recapture the adventurous spirit of the Land Cruiser nameplate. The appearance is designed to highlight the Land Cruiser's heritage as an expedition-ready large Toyota SUV. The design transformation reflects the technique utilized with the Defender when Land Rover revived that nameplate. The styling is expected to target off-road enthusiasts rather than luxury consumers. Instead of creating another posh three-row SUV, Toyota wants to reclaim the Land Cruiser's reputation as a formidable off-roader. How does it fit within the range of Toyota's SUVs? From the full-size Sequoia to the mid-range 4Runner, Toyota already offers a number of large SUVs in the US. Between these two vehicles, there might be room for the next Toyota Land Cruiser off-road SUV. The full-size Sequoia is at the top of Toyota's SUV lineup in the US, featuring a powerful V6 engine and plenty of space. The 4Runner is a capable off-roader with body-on-frame construction, but it's on the tiny side for a huge Toyota SUV. The Toyota Grand Highlander, a crossover SUV built on the three-row Toyota Highlander platform, now stands between these two models. As an off-road vehicle, it is not as tough or capable as a body-on-frame SUV. The new Land Cruiser might make sense in this case. It might be sized like the Land Cruiser Prado, a body-on-frame SUV with an off-road focus that is presently available internationally. It would be bigger than the 4Runner though smaller and less expensive than the Sequoia. With solid axles, increased ground clearance, and features like locking differentials, Toyota might present the new Land Cruiser as a more off-road focused competitor to the Toyota Grand Highlander and carve out a nice niche for it in the SUV market. The Land Cruiser would continue to be the versatile model, with the Highlander remaining the more at-home on-road alternative. Retro boxy style like the original Land Cruiser or 70 series. For the upcoming Land Cruiser, Toyota might go for a boxy retro style that is similar of the original models or the current 70 series. 
this might help set it apart from the more current and rounder looks of the Forerunner and Lexus LX. A vintage design could also capture the essence of the Land Cruiser's tradition and nostalgia while yet being a contemporary SUV. The upright windshield, flat surfaces, and boxy shape with rounded headlights would give it a distinct and tough aspect, as would the bulging fenders and flat surfaces. Toyota might use design ideas from vintage Land Cruisers, such as robust C pillars, exposed hinges and latches, and round LED headlamps and taillights. Large, rounded headlights for a classic appearance. Large rounded headlights with a more traditional retro appearance may be seen on the upcoming Toyota Land Cruiser that will be sold in the United States. Large round headlights trace back to the traditional boxy style of earlier generations, which customers have enjoyed for decades and bring to mind old Toyota Land Cruisers. It would also give the car a more open-faced image with the headlamps wrapping around the fenders, enhancing its go-anywhere attitude. Modern vehicles, on the other hand, appear more closed-off and high-tech thanks to their rectangular or projector-style headlamps. It might aid in further setting the Land Cruiser apart from Toyota's other models. Sparse interior with an emphasis on toughness and off-road use. A straightforward, tough interior is anticipated to complement the vintage external appearance as Toyota attempts to recast the Land Cruiser as a serious off-road vehicle for the United States. It would develop the idea of the Land Cruiser as a basic off-road vehicle. Toyota might be able to price the Land Cruiser more affordably than competitors like the Jeep Wrangler and Ford Bronco if the inside is sparse. This could be essential to increasing sales compared to the previous generation model. Auxiliary switches, locking differentials, and tough protective material for the dashboard and screens are a few examples of conveniences Toyota may add that are more concerned with off-road capability than comfort and technological prowess. The inside of 70 series Land Cruisers sold in countries like Australia can serve as inspiration for the cabin. These are renowned for their straightforward, utilitarian design that places emphasis on functionality over comfort. A 2.4-litre inline-four hybrid with more than 300 horsepower. A hybridized version of the 2.4-litre inline-four engine seen in the Crown Sedan and other Toyota products may power the Land Cruiser. This engine has a potential output of over 300 horsepower, most likely between 320 and 350 horsepower. The Land Cruiser might have better fuel economy with a hybridized engine while still having plenty of power for towing and off-road driving. Which chassis is used? The TNGAF platform chassis that Toyota has been employing for its SUVs and trucks will likely be included in the next Toyota Land Cruiser off-road SUV for America. It is a tough and adaptable chassis that may be set up for vehicles with four wheels or two wheels. It has demonstrated that it is sturdy enough to meet the demands of off-roading while yet offering respectable on-road comfort. A body-on-frame design utilizing the F-platform chassis is a possibility for the future Land Cruiser. Furthermore, it is scalable, allowing Toyota to change the chassis to support various vehicle sizes. The Land Cruiser would have well-known underpinnings if it were built on the F-platform chassis, but Toyota could differentiate it with unique appearance, features, and powertrain choices. The F-Platform's sturdy ladder frame architecture is perfectly suited for the demanding and payload requirements placed on the Land Cruiser nameplate. Having said that, what do you think of the incoming Toyota Land Cruiser? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.